This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello everyone and welcome to Focus on Health. I'm Ted Stefaniak. Today we're at Aurora Medical Center and we're in the radiology department and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We want to take a look at how they do x-rays, MRI, CTs. We're going to show you also some groundbreaking things that they're doing here, a first of a kind in the country with CT. That's coming up in just a moment. But first, I want to introduce Shannon Sadowska. She is the director of the imaging department here, and thanks for having us on this tour today. We just want to take a look at some of the different things that you're able to do to help uh, doctors make diagnoses. So tell us what room we're in right now. Okay, so we're in a general radiology room here. We just do plain x-rays, so bones, chest, abdomen, anything like that. Pretty much the first thing you would do if you had a broken bone or anything like that. Right, anything that's suspected. Um, so we have um, a table. Patients can either lay on a table um, where we do their images. Um, we have an upright bucky, so um, chest x-rays, anything standing. And then we also have a portable x-ray unit. So um, the portable unit um, allows us to be mobile, to go to patients' rooms um, and be involved in traumas or anything that may require um, the patient not to be able to transport it to the room. Yeah, and I think uh, most, most of the people watching, I think, understand the x-ray uh, room. We, uh, unfortunately, a lot of us have been in an x-ray uh, room for, for x-rays and things like that. The technology is a little bit different though, isn't it? Uh, you guys have really upgraded. I know you're still doing film, but that film also gets integrated into a computer system as well. Correct. So we use um, digital technology here um, through a PAC system. So we still have a cassette that gets processed a little bit differently than standard film. So we don't have to use um, a dark room anymore to process that. It goes into a computer system where the radiologist is the, the doctor who reads the x-rays. Um, reviews those images, um, produces an interpretation, um, but those films are available to any referring physician within our system right. at and, the and, same time. Yeah, and I know that there's been a big upgrade here in the computer system at Aurora, so mm -hmm. the old days you had to wait for that film to get developed and somebody to go pick up that film and then walk it up or run it up to the doctor. Now it's all computerized. Right. So um, we're converting to Epic. So our clinic went up on Epic a couple weeks ago. Um, the hospital will be going up um, in another week and um, that'll allow physicians um, and as well as ourselves to see anything done with any clinic site or any other hospital within the Aurora system. Right. So it allows more con continuity of care for our patients. And this is just one room that you have for imaging. We have a lot more Correct. to get to. Correct. So let's go take a look. All right. Well, we've moved down the hall just a few doors and we're in the CT room. Now, Shannon, this is a, this is a new piece of technology here at Aurora. Yep, um, this is brand new. We've had it for about a week. Um, it's a wide bore CT scanner. So the difference with this is that um, we have a very large center, um, 90 centimeters compared to the other CT scanner of 70 centimeters. Now, how does a, a CT scanner differ from, say, an x-ray that we just looked at? So with CT, we're looking at anatomy cross-sectionally so we can um, you know, it's kind of like slicing, slicing a loaf of bread. You can look up and down, side to side, back and forth. Um, and then we can create three-dimensional images out of those. And, and when would a doctor typically order a CT scan? Um, typically, the CTs are used to look at other internal organs, abnormalities. Things that an x-ray can't necessarily pick Correct. up. Correct. So um, we're looking at all of the, everything inside. Um, we get a lot of um, stroke patients, so um, we can do a quick CT of the head to see if there's any bleeds in the head, um, as well as abdominal, um, looking at all of the internal organs. We use contrast to enhance those. Um, that way the radiologist can see if there's any other masses, abnormalities, um, appendicitis, um, sure, and I would imagine you're talking, when you mention stroke, time is of the essence, so doctors need to know that information as soon as possible. How is this for speed? Um, we can usually get an exam done in about five minutes. It takes longer to process the images and send them to our PAC system than it does to actually do the exam. Wow, um, that's tremendous. And I know this is a first of a kind in the country. Tell us what's so different about this from any other machine in the country right now. So the wide bore CT scanner isn't um, the first. Uh, the technology on it is what is um, brand new for this model. So we have low dose technology, so software on this, so we're producing about half the radiation to our patients as we would with uh, any other CT scanners. Wow, that, that's amazing. And I know uh, just down the hall, we've got another uh, room for imaging here in the radiology department, and that's the MRI. I think people are a little bit familiar with the MRI, but when would you use the MRI machines? MRI is looking more at functional 
on anatomy. Um, we use that to look more at ligaments, um, tendons, muscles. Um, we use that in conjunction with CT, depending on what type of imaging, um, and a lot of musculoskeletal imaging done here as well. Okay, and then uh, I would imagine with, with the x-ray, with the CT, with the MRI, you have other pieces of, of equipment for imaging as well. Correct. We also have ultrasound. So ultrasound's using um, sound waves to produce the images. Um, MRI, obviously, we didn't talk about that, but um, MRI uses a magnetic wave to produce those images. So different signals with the MRI, and it excites protons within the body to create those images. So Shannon, I would imagine all these things tie in together to, to make a, a better healthcare experience here at Aurora using all these imaging devices. We want to thank you for taking some time and giving us this tour today. Thank you. All right, and we'll see you next time on Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.